time to watch it for the very first time in life. In my in my life, yeah. Okay, anyway. Oh, it's slow. Dude, for a second I felt like my screen is loading. And stories about... Just like the past. It's Otta? Oh. So she's going to relieve moments from her past? She doesn't look really happy about it. Uh, I'm getting goosebumps, but Kiana looks sad. It, 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 like, it also makes you feel bad for her. Her share of corruption, I assume. Because I didn't do a reason around my story arc. Our story has ended. Oh, Kiana dies. What a gazi. Let the people from the past stay in the past. And this is why I love Otto, okay? Such a giga chat. He, he just disappeared, he just... Yeah, let people in the past stay in the past. Goodbye, Kiana. And, and he left. You got nothing to say? <laughs> You've done well. That, that's actually so, such a great moment with HIV. Yeah. Oh. It's so wholesome. Like, they, they don't even need... Okay, I was about to say that they don't even need to talk, but yeah, that, that's pretty much what's happening. Yeah, they don't even need to talk to each other. It, it, it just holds. Do we have to part ways again? No. We will stay together till the end of this. Yo, this is the laminant of the fallen cinematic we wanted, okay? Yeah, I, I wanted them to run away like this and not fight each other. Yeah, this is the, this is the cinematic I wanted in Nagazora. Finally, Miho Miho fi fixed it. Yeah, finally, Miho fixed it. <laughs> the cinematic. Oh, no raven. Oh, let's go, it's this is Shank. <laughs> Casually eating some food. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh, it's Rosalia. <laughs> Uh, Brony and Silly, beautiful. Best girls. Silly is so cute. Wait, why, why Brony is so small now? What? She, she, she literally just freaking... Like, I don't know, be became like 20 centimeters small, shorter. Okay, I will have to pause every of these moments. <laughs> I guess this is the first time you see Terry in the cinematic, right? Oh, and Fuhua is so cute. You know what? I guess Miho didn't lie when they said it's a game about positive and wholesome story. Like, this cinematic literally just gives you a positive and wholesome story impression. Or maybe not. Because Keanu has to leave now. Oh, let's go Night Moon Beam Battles. It's, it's one of the coolest one. The camera angle. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. Me. Okay. Oh, it's Himiko. No, 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 don't hit us with depression. No. Oh, 
Just spawn straight up gives you goose bombs, right? I feel bad for her. I, I, I actually feel so sad for her. Man. No, stop with that crying emoji. I'm about to cry. No, stop. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to resist crying. I can do it. I can, I'm a big man. I'm a big adult. I, I can I can resist it. Wait, is this small piano? She definitely looks like small piano. So cute. Join us? No, no, I, I can do it without crying. I, I am a big boy, okay? Okay, I'm not. I can't remember a, a cinematic that didn't make me cry like a bitch from Hankai Impact. Impressive job. It's it's fucking impressive. I swear all this all these Hankai cinematics are so good. It's like literally Don't you don't you think it's crazy how it's a, just a mobile game? A, a, and they, they make such an impressive job with these cinematics. Oh my god. I, I feel like, you know what, I can endure it, endure it almost till the end, okay? I, I almost did it. I almost did it. But yeah, at the end I can cry it like a bitch, you sorry, actually. Okay, you know what, uh, let's talk about some specific details, like I, I want to pay attention to the... Some, to some parts, where is, where, where is this? Look, actually... Like, I feel like this cinematic is split in three parts, actually in four parts, in an extremely impressive way, right? So it's like first part is just her living pretty much uh, some sad moments of her story, right? Of her past with 500 years old simp, but at the same time a giga chat, but like still a bad guy, so Otto. Then this girl, I forgot her, uh, yeah, her actual domination. And then, actually such a good part with HV. Yeah, uh, corruption, yeah. Actually such a good part with HV. Honestly, I wanted to make a joke like uh, that at this moment she would say stuff like, just give me a cup noodles in the head pad, human. But yeah, obviously Mikhoi wouldn't do it, right? But like, this part, look, by the way, look, see? Attitude is like one of the most rewatchable part. For a reason, right? For a heckin' reason. Which is just, hmm, you've done well. Like, actually saying something nice to Kiana, it, it's great. Yeah, so it's like, this first part, it was like, ah, uh, you know, kind of sad, right? But like, kind of like, uh, pretty much showing the difficulties of Kiana's past, how, how, it, how it was going, and like, all these challenges uh, he went through, and like, all these like, things she overcame then. Like, this part is made is straight up beautiful. Like, undergoing this is the highest quality possible. Like, especially how they make how they make them almost not saying anything to each other. Right? And just enjoying the view, just enjoying time with each other. This is absolutely impressive. This is the kind of Canon X main interaction you want to see, right? And then also the I think I can love this part. Like, I, know, I, I like this part, how they just run away from this roof. Because, like, in my opinion, this is what... Okay, sure. I understand that, like, Lament of the Fallen cinematic was important for the story and stuff, right? But my beating the shit out of Kiana was a little bit too much. It's like, 
in a perfect world, uh, this is the remnant of the phone cinematic I wanted to see, okay? And I'm happy Mihoi fixed it. I mean, not fixed it, uh, but right, they pretty much gave us alternative ending for remnant of the phone cinematic with this little part. Right? I mean, for people who really care, like me. Um, or should I say, for, for people who cried like a bitch at Lamnant of the Fallen, even after watching it 20 times in a row. Anyway, like, they just run in the way and spend your time being happy with each other. It's freaking impressive, okay? It, it's beautiful. And like, then just, you know, then they just having fun and stuff. Like, this part is an ironically positive and wholesome story, right? Like, literally. And like, they show how like all these girls happy together, right? How, how they grew up. And then train comes. And like you see how they just carry it away talking about some stuff. And Kiana just walks back. She, she doesn't want to interrupt them. She, she doesn't want to ruin this wholesome moment. She, she just silently leaves. And I feel like Mihoyo making her even this way is very important. And then you feel like, okay, okay, it was pretty wholesome. It's fine, right? We can accept Kiana living. But Mikoya saying, hold up, hold my beer. This game, okay, yeah, by the way, camera angle, I'm not going to comment it, uh, I'm not a horny player, okay? But still, camera angle. Good job, uh, um, Mikoya designers. Yeah, but still, at this moment, Mikoya just casually saying, hold my beer. It's a game about positive and wholesome story, remember? And they just casually show you Himiko. And this is this is where, where the game starts to hit you really hard. And then it's like pretty much try not to cry challenge, right? Was brutal. And like I don't know where you guys where the, the cinematic got you, but I guess I cried somewhere right here where she started interacting with small can. It was cute as fuck, but like also so lonely. And like I guess at this part, when the train disappears. And it's just Kiana in a complete darkness, but she is smiling, she is like still happy, she is like facing this challenge on her own. Like, I don't know why, like this part made me so sad for her. Because I understand like she has like this huge mission and she is going to be alone in this. Even though she can meet her friends and stuff, it just, it, it's still pretty de depressing, in my opinion, you know. So, yeah. Like, I don't know why, well, like, when, when the, the strand disappeared, uh, I started to, like, I started to feel really sad for her. Yeah, and then, then, and then, yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely impressive work from Mikhoa, as always. Oh, wait, also, what about, like, these pictures I wanted to stop? Let's see, so, this is Shank. Oh yeah, okay, it's late show. Okay, so... <laughs> Look at that! I didn't see this part! I didn't see this guy! <laughs> Look at the secret, totally not being... Exhausted. After shopping with Cecilia and Sirin. <laughs> She's like, fuck. And Kiana, look, look, this is my family. <laughs> This is so cute. Okay, what else? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Dude, this my outfit is kind of cool. Oh, let's see. Yeah, Eden. Mm-hmm. Casually uh, having promotion. Wait. Do you see it? Do you see who do, who do we have here? Wow. Oh, look, look, look uh, that's Elysian. Uh, totally not Dark Souls. Uh, Elden Ring, by the way. <laughs> look at this. Okay, so those two, I don't know their names. Oh, wait, no, right. I feel like this one is Schrodinger, and this girl, I have no idea who it is. A Tesla and Welt Young, and Welt Joyce and Einstein. Man, look at Einstein being so cute. Actually, that's that's a little sad, because you know what? She can't really spend time with uh, Welt Joyce anymore. I guess his name, his name is Joyce, right? Welt girl, you're talking about Einstein, 100%. Oh. Let's see, so this is Flame Chasers. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, it's previous era Kevin and May. Yeah, and now, yeah. Also, I, I, I want to pay like special attention to this Happy Terry. Look at her face. It, it's actually so wholesome. 